Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's an example of using the compound mask. We'll start off, we're going to go to the stock photographs here, look for person and look down for a suitable one here. This will do. Let's bring that up there to the top and we'll start off with a person. There we go. So here we've got this and thank you to the person here. And what we're going to do here is try putting masks on this and we're going to use in here we're going to start off with the hue range mask and i'm going to put it above for now just to for the positioning and then we can drag this around here or we can actually say well let's just click on the face and go to the picker and click on the face and there we go we got the reds selected there, which includes the skin and around the hair as well. We can play around with these, but I think it's that's pretty good as it is. I'll turn that off for a moment, and I want to put in a mask, which is going to use the luminosity range mask. I'm just going to put that at the top as well. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull down the so that the darker areas here are taken out or I've still got the lighter areas. In fact I can kind of pull it across a little bit here so I get more of the skin and less of the other areas but I'd like to be able to combine those two together and all I do for that is mask layer and to a compound mask. Then I can drag these in here one and the second one onto the icon there, open that up so we can see it, make sure we both are turned on. And now what we see here, we've got the person there nicely selected and the background is kind of a bit further out. But what should happen now if you go to the where it says add there and look at the other things we're doing. So if I go to subtract, now that's just selecting something of the background intersect and XOR. So this, we're selecting quite different the areas and these are the areas that could be affected by a adjustment. So what we'll do is in fact if I've got the move tool selected and I just click outside the picture nothing is selected here. So if I put in an adjustment it's going to appear at the top. So I put in curves so it appears up there and I just drag the compound mask onto it. Now let's have a look at where we are. So this is on add. I'm just going to darken things at the moment. So here, this is the face is going a bit darker. Let's try the different combinations. And this is often a good thing to do. So subtract, intersect. So the exclusive or here, XOR, and that has this effect. And let's look at before and after. So it's darkened the background and the skin area there. So what if I go to subtract and look at the effect here before and after? I've just got a way of darkening the background a bit. So the way that the luminosity range mask and the hue mask, hue range mask combine is useful. I can even go to these and say here, what if I start changing this, I, I am getting different effects around there. The luminosity mask, I could, for example, just change the the shape of this so I can get the background there darkened a bit more just by watching it. So you start off, select one of these, but then try different approaches here. So that works there fairly well. And again, before and after. So this is how you combine masks, not ordinary masks. Those can be combined, but it works extremely well when using the other new masks. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.